Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, we got a double feature from Two Guys Brewing. Two Guys Brewing out of Wyoming, Michigan just started statewide distribution, and because this is obviously a Michigan first beer channel, uh, I thought it would be a good way to not only introduce you to their beer, but a good way to introduce myself to it. Now, I've got two of their initial offerings, Mosaic Quest, which is a 6.2% IPA, and Trench Warfare, which is an English brown, and I gotta hand it to two guys before I even give it a try. I think it's kind of ballsy to uh, release a brown ale as one of your first initial offerings. Now, I love brown ales. They're one of my favorite styles of beer, but I know they're just not one of those kind of hype styles. So we're going to take a look at the label on these beers. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer and David Jeffries, for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe even just, you know, buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos and some other exclusive patron-only perks. So the other beer, I said they had three offerings. The other one is a blonde ale. That wasn't something that hit shelves near me here in southeast lower Michigan. So I was only able to get the English Brown and the Single Hop IPA. So we're going to take a look first at the Single Hop IPA. We're going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to kind of do a, a quick kind of review on each beer on its own right. I'm not going to compare them because they're just different styles. So we're going to start off with the Single Hop IPA. So if we look at the label here on the front, it says Two Guys Brewing, Mosaic Quest, and it has kind of like this fractal kind of view of all these hops and all these different, uh, you know, leafy uh, green colors. And uh, on the back here, it says Single Hop IPA proudly made with Michigan ingredients. And then it says on the back here, Brewed and Packed at Two Guys Brewing, 2385 Porter Street Southwest in Wyoming, Michigan. It tells us it's 6.5% ABV, and it says, you know you prefer two guys, too. Uh, you can check them out. They have a QR code. You can check out their tap room, and it says, please drink responsibly. I do not see a canned on date on this can anywhere whatsoever, but like I said, this just hit statewide distribution within like the last couple days. This just showed up at my local place like two days ago. Um, I have to talk about the can on this because the label, it's I'm not crazy about it, so but I don't judge any beer by the label. Uh, I'm not crazy about it just because it doesn't really stand out. I mean, yeah, it has this kind of this crest on it with the hop cones and all the you know all the green and the, it looks like a bit of a kaleidoscope going on in the front, but it doesn't really it doesn't really set itself apart. It looks very much like an older style design. But let's go ahead and crack this and put a nose on it. Wow, that when I crack that that headspace, there's like very little headspace. The beer is just sitting right there saying, hey, what's up? So let's put a nose on it. Oh, smells very, uh, smells really hoppy. Has like almost like an earthy kind of hoppy quality to it. So this is an IPA glass. We're going to use it with this uh, single hop IPA. So let's go ahead and pour it. I'm going to guess it's mosaic. And it's coming out really pretty, pretty clear out of the can. A nice kind of golden copper color. We're going to pour it in here a little bit harder now. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting about three fingers worth of head. It's a bit of an off-white head, very fluffy, uh, a lot of kind of larger popping bubbles, as you can see from the overhead on the side piece, the the side, um, you know, cross section of it. There are a lot of small bubbles. It's very, um, very compact. I got about two and a half to three fingers worth of head. If we hold this one up to the light here, it's a, got a little bit of a haze to it, but more of a sediment kind of haze. It's not like a hazy IPA by any means. I can see my fingers through. I can't see a whole lot of detail unless I put a whole lot of effort into looking at it. Looks very copper orange color to me. To you, it looks like a, I don't know, it looks a bit more like a, a reddish kind of copper, but to me, it has more of an orangey kind of quality seeing it through the light. Let's put a nose on the glass here. Yeah, getting a bit of a dankness, it definitely has a little bit more of that mosaic kind of quality coming through the, the glass itself. Has a bit of a malty kind of quality to it as well, has a, a malty aroma. And if you look at that head, that thing is still just hanging on like, like it, I just poured it. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Cheers. All right. So it actually has a little bit of a heavier mouthfeel than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter. It's only 6.5%. I say only 6.5%. It 
as if that's low. Uh, again, I've, I mentioned I'm a, I'm a bit of a codger, so 6.5% um, to me is like, that used to be like upper level, and now that's like kind of low ABV, so it's in that kind of realm. But let's talk about the taste here. Up front, just right up front. It lets you know right off the bat, these are Mosaic Hops, it has a very citrusy, kind of um, hoppy flavor to it, a lot of, and then as that kind of dissipates, you get a lot of that citrus up front, but then it really turns into a, uh, a really piney, bitter IPA flavor, right? And there's a bit of a hoppy note in, I'm, I'm sorry, a bit of a malty note in there as well. So it has that kind of Midwest style IPA, you know, thing going on that I really enjoy. I like malty IPAs. So with the maltiness and that piney kind of finish on the hop, it, all, it, it kind of mixes together and gives you that really nice kind of biting, hoppy, piney kind of bitterness. Like I said, up front, you're getting a little bit more of that citrus kind of bitterness, just really up front. Like it really meets you at the front of the taste with a lot of that kind of citrus note. And then that goes, whoosh, it just like instantly like metamorphosizes into this kind of piney, biting, malty flavor, just stew together. There is this bit of a weird kind of note on the end of, it's almost this different kind of bitterness that's not really, I wouldn't really necessarily attribute it to the hoppiness, but um, it's just got this kind of different note on the back end. So yeah, if you're a big multi IPA fan, I would definitely say that, you know, this, this Mosaic Quest would be something that you should look out for. It's got almost these it's so it's piney to the extent of almost being a West Coast IPA, but it doesn't have it's not quite that bitter, but it has a nice multi quality to it as well. So I'm going to take a quick break and we'll come back with Trench Warfare. All right, so now I'm back. I have Trench Warfare here. This is the Northern English Brown Ale. This is 5.6% ABV. Let's take a look at the label here. It has kind of this speckled almost looks camouflage like the colors that color combination they went with in the background here again it has that same kind of uh, kaleidoscope kind of crest here on the front with the different hop cones and all the different stuff going on uh, it says two guys brewing trench warfare lots of speckles on there it says North northern english brown ale proudly made with michigan ingredients on the back with the two guys brewing logo and the barcode and then it has, uh, again, brewed and packed by Two Guys Brewing at 2385 Porter Street. Please drink responsibly. This is 16 fluid ounces at 5.6% ABV. We have the Craft Beer Association label. So you know it's a, a, it's, a, uh, it's a certified independent craft beer. And then the QR code with more information about Two Guys. So I'm going to use my Tiku glass. We're going to we're going to kind of jazz it up a little bit here again with the label. The thing I think the thing that I really kind of sets me off a little bit is that this font is kind of hard to read. So I you really kind of got to look at this with all the colors going on. It's a little bit much um, if they're a little bit more crisp or maybe a little bit updated of a label. I think it might stand out on the shelves a little better. Like I said, this is kind of that older like I want to even say like late like 2000s, not even the 2010 kind of label going on here. And again, it's pretty brave to put a brown ale as one of your initial offerings. So opening it up, you get a little bit of a roasty, malty kind of aroma here. Let's go ahead and pour it. I like the smell so far, so let's go ahead and pour it. It's coming out a bit of a clear brown, like almost a cola kind of color and collecting in the glass itself as well. There's a bit of a cola quality to it. Uh, I'm going to let it kind of settle here for a second because I think I was going to over pour it and then I'm going to pour a little bit more in here. So we're looking at about two and a half fingers of head. Well, actually more like two, about two fingers ahead here. It has a off white head, not quite. It's just a little bit kind of like a tan colored head, maybe getting a little bit towards the, the khaki. It's not so dark as to be like a coffee colored head. But it has a nice head here. It has a, again, has those larger bursting bubbles that are rising up, as you can see from the overhead. On the cross section along the side, from what I can see, it has some larger bubbles and, and they're not quite as compact, but they're kind of evenly spaced. So let's go ahead and put a better note. Well, actually, I'll hold it up to the light here 
that's dark. I mean, I'm not seeing through that. It poured through relatively clear, but collecting in the glass, it is very dark. I'm not seeing through it. I'm seeing in the bulb of this glass, there's a bit of a redness to it, an amber kind of color. Let's put a nose on the glass here. Yeah, roasted malty kind of aroma, what you would expect from a brown ale. It has definitely just kind of characteristic, you know, brown visuals to it. Couldn't think of the word there, but yeah, just getting a nice kind of multi, uh, roasted multi quality. Let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Mouth feels very light, very crisp. Um, again, what I like out of a brown ale, I like that they look like they're heavier than they are. And that's how this kind of, you know, giving the appearance on the port, it looks super heavy. But when you look at it in the glass here, like, like this, uh, it does look a little bit heavier than it is. It's not quite even as heavy as a porter, right? So you got kind of brown ales and they're a little bit different. You got porters and stouts are very close to that. Stouts are being the heaviest on that kind of dark beer scale. We're not going to count like Dunkel Vices or any of that kind of stuff. But, you know, looking at this brown ale, it, it has, you know, again, has that kind of crisp quality to it. The flavor has a nice kind of sweet note to it. It's not overly aggressive on that roasted kind of malty flavor. It's got a nice sweet note to it. Again, up front, it kind of isn't super thick, so you get a, a nice kind of thinner, uh, sweet flavor. It's not overly sweet, but you get almost these kind of toffee and a little bit of almost deep dark down in there, like in the taste. You almost get this kind of coffee note to it too. So you get not only that sweetness up front, but you get the roasted barley, the roasted malts, and then you get like this little bit of a toffee slash coffee kind of flavor in there too. 5.6%, not gonna break the bank. It's got a nice flavor to it. Like I said, I, you know, earlier and a couple times now, I don't know how popular a brown ale is for an initial offering, but I appreciate it. I love when I go into a brewery, the first thing that I try if they have one available is the brewery's brown ale, especially if they're not known. You know, I, I can't even think of a brewery these days that would claim, have a claim to fame, be their brown ale. Maybe Old Nation would say with Electron Brown that, you know, that's one of their kind of top level beers, but I think most people would probably be going for the, you know, M43, Boss Tweed, those kind of New England style IPAs. But I like to try the brown ale because it shows you that the, you know, the comp competency of the brewery, if they can't make a good brown ale, chances are, you know, maybe they'll do good with an IPA, but, you know, you'll see the deficit in some other area. So I'm a weird kind of dude. Uh, a brown ale, an impressive brown ale would lead me to go check out a brewery because they have a good brown ale. So that kind of makes me think, well, let's check out this two guys brewery, but I, I think for other people, you know, they have a blonde, they have an IPA, they have a brown. I think the IPA definitely is in the kind of wheelhouse of most craft beer fans. Everybody seems to be in love with IPAs these days and, and they're not going hazy. So that makes, that's almost a more of an intriguing kind of thing. Let's, you know, they're maybe a little bit more of a traditional style brewery. I've never been there. Um, but you know, the blonde is a lighter, you know, a lighter summer style beer. They're coming out you know, early August, late July, coming out the shelves. And then they have the brown, which maybe hits those more traditional style beer drinkers like myself. I mean, I enjoy everything, but I enjoy myself a good brown. And this is a good brown. If you are into browns and you don't, you know, you, there's obviously a clear lack of browns on shelves. I think Trench Warfare could definitely fit the bill for a good new brown ale. Um, very courageous of two guys to do a brown. But, you know, I think that, that they did a really good job on this one. All right, friends, that's been a short look of two of the new beers in statewide distribution for Two Guys Brewing. We had Mosaic Quest and we had Trench Warfare. Have you had anything from Two Guys Brewing? And what style of beer do you think a brewery should put out on their first initial release? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribing to those notifications. You may have not have even known that Two Guys was doing statewide distribution if you hadn't watched this video because you weren't subscribed to get notifications so until next time i'm sean from draft therapy thanks for stopping by remember drink craft beer support your local breweries these guys are in wyoming michigan and until next time don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy thanks for watching see you next time cheers